I can't believe people still take RJ serious. Yes. Like, you guys, oh. like, seriously, they get their – in I, a bunch. Yeah, they get they in a bunch. I well, troll RJ's your talks, page. Man. I troll no. sports oh, page. Absolutely. All I do is troll. Like, Bron will post something, I'll just be like, trash can. <laughs> what are you talking RJ, about? Just RJ's the best, oh. man. Oh, so RJ's funny. the best. That's Channing the- is the best. If you, I, I see Channing on Twitter all the time. Like, they went crazy <laughs> at Channing uh, a week and a half ago because he said, I'm, I don't care. Giannis Milwaukee didn't get better because Giannis can't score. People, People in their hot. mind, <laughs> oh, they went crazy God. because all they was thinking, like, the guy averaged 30. What do you mean he can't score? But I, I, I know what Channing is basically talking about. Like, you, you got to break down the game. But no one, Don't everyone is credit. so, like, instant oatmeal <laughs> and so surface. So like, oh, did, Channing you support, got, did you support him when he I said that it. Jordan, Jordan? <laughs> 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 and then he tried to choose what, 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 what seriously went through your mind when, when, when he's he like, said Jordan that. didn't have to do anything but score. No, no, Bron didn't want to make Bron these, these arguments. Right? Right? No, seen... no, listen. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Chad. I'll let so you explain. When I'll let you know what said, I did. He, when somebody said he could average 50, I said, oh, so we just going to put out, oh, like gravity doesn't exist. The sky ain't blue. Ain't nobody ever going to average 50 in an NBA game. They're going to double team your butt left and right. I don't care who you are, whether you're Shaq, Kareem, Jordan, Braun, Will Chamberlain. whoever's next. <laughs> no, Will Chamberlain. Come on, man. That dude was playing against six foot two dudes and he was seven <laughs> foot nine. Stop it. Stop it. Listen, Give I completely credit, agree with anyways, that. I don't ahead, believe ahead, nobody. There's nobody that's going to average 50 in our league. Like, nah. Okay, now that's just disrespectful. I mean, no matter how great you were in your era and how great you are to play in any era, um, you know, if that's the case, I believe guys will average 50 in their era. Yeah. The era that they played in. So yeah. I don't believe that, but. When Channing said what he said, if you ever seen the meme of Homer Simpson when he slides back <laughs> into the bush, that was me. That, oh, you know, oh, no, that's not my boy. People were so ready for me. They was like, why is LeBron saying anything? I was going on my day like, are you crazy? I'm not touching this. I'm not saying nothing. Channing, go ahead. Go ahead and put him on the cross. Yeah. They yeah. put you oh, on the cross Channing. for sure. You said that you wanted respect on your name. Put that respect on my name. <laughs> I want to know why. <laughs> I love having I want to know why. Because I, I really do. I have literally not talked to you about it. I want to know why in that moment. And I want to know if the fourth championship has changed you. Um, why did I say that uh, just at the end by me or about everybody? Well, I think. Well, okay. so, so, so about about everyone everyone because so, one so, Let me break it down. Let me break it down for everybody. So, so first of all, the organization, obviously the Lakers have been on yes. for the last five to seven years, and, and rightfully so. Maybe yeah. longer. Maybe longer. Because they want, they <laughs> want you to win. They want you to win. They, they, but, but, but it was it was it was you know, and, and from the outside looking in, and, and then when I actually got in it, you know, it was, and I want to be a part of the change. Yeah. So, okay, now we, 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 this is a change. They, they we want their we, the Lakers want their respect. Yep. Jeannie Buss being the only female uh, owner, and, and, oh, well, along with Portland because, you know, the late great, and, and also in uh, New, uh, Orleans. New Orleans as New well. Orleans. Yeah. But she's the first female champion win. to win a championship. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I there wanted, was a lot of beef. There was yeah, a lot of beef. Like, so, other things happened, but she took right. over. because She of took over, and obviously squabbles. people yeah, know yeah. the story with her brothers and all yeah. that stuff. And she, you know, but more importantly, she wanted to just grab the Laker franchise she had grown up underneath her father, the late great Bu- Dr. Buss, and knew what it took to win and got it to that point. Love her to hate it, give her her respect. Rob Palenka, obviously, Rob Palenka was been on for the last few years, either you know with his relationship with Magic or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. He's only the, the GM because of Kobe and his relationship with Kobe. Whatever you, whatever you say. He built a championship team. We won a championship. Yep. Coach Vogel as well. You know, they didn't believe that he, they believe he was a second fiddle, you know, for the Lakers job. You know, it should have been T. Lou. Obviously, we know what happened with that. You know, he put us in position. He made the right play calls. He made the right adjustments. When we played, okay, JaVale was starting. Okay, we played his team. Okay, well, I may, I need, I need Dwight in here. Mm-hmm. Okay, Keith. you're starting. I need, I need Keith in this, in this series. AD, in the you're Houston playing series. five. AD, you're yep. playing in the five. Houston Suck series, it up. JaVale, Dwight, this is not the series for you. Keith, AD, this you guys got to dominate the interior. Yeah. You know, AC, now you're going to have to start. You know, in the finals, AC, I need you to start at one of the guards. Mm-hmm. He made those adjustments. He won a championship. Um, and for me personally, for me personally, after all that I've accomplished still in this league, there's still a conversation of, of, of like, doubt. Mm-hmm. And I can hear 
and I see it, and uh, <laughs> I see it on my on my my feed every time I post something with this jackass across from me. Um, <laughs> I just do the um, motivation. You no, know, and I love it. I love you too. Yeah. Um, and and um, just from people that really that the basketball world, because people, it's the people on TV and there's writers that write that people in the basketball world really listen to mm -hmm. and they really believe. And I'm not going to give any of those names on this show because they don't deserve it. You want me to? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll, I'll retweet it when you tweet okay, it. Okay, um, <laughs> oh my God. okay. That continue to discredit or, or continue to not to understand what, you know, the drive that I put into it, you know, you know, they talk about these players or, well, he doesn't have that same drive as them, or he doesn't have that same mentality as those. If he did, he had, like, and, and they see what I continue to accomplish. So, you know, it, it, it was a, it was, it was a, a reassurance to myself, but it was also like to the naysayers and to the haters, which will always be there, even after I'm done playing, I'm but always going to be right here. <laughs> and I'm and to Channing. Be right here. Yeah. You know, I, I hear it, I see it. And um, just like one of the words I've been using today, holding them accountable. Yeah. And I'm holding them accountable. Well, so. well, this is the part that, like, I always consider you like big little brother. Big brother because, you know, I respect, like, all the things that you do. I Little brother because I've watched you since you came in, like so many other people. But there was one part that 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 caught me in the in your like speech at the end when Rachel tried to tee you up. A couple years ago, after we won the championship, you said, <laughs> look, at, "Look at his face." You said, "You know what?" And I understood because I was a witness. No pun intended. I was a witness. No pun intended. You were like, "I believe that right there." after we won championship, made me the greatest because you had done something that had never been done before. Our team had done something that had never been done before. And people don't understand from an athlete standpoint the confidence and the mental confidence that we have to instill mm. in ourselves. And so I watched it and I was like, kind of like not, not the Channing Jordan. It wasn't that, but I was like, ooh, <laughs> our guy's got a lot of haters that are going to use this against him. And so the same moment, now your fourth championship and that same opportunity was given to you by Rachel Nichols and said, like, hey, where do you think that this do it? And you and where I think even as a 35 year old and you've accomplished what you've accomplished, you took a step back and you were like, you know what? I'm smarter. I'm wiser even than I was four years ago. You know what? That's not for me to decide. That's for everybody else. People are always going to argue yeah. that. So, like, I, I viewed it as a, as a moment of maturity. Right. Like. Why is it that you took a, a, a step back in that moment? Not saying that you change your mind yeah, or any of that. Because I realize that the conversation is uh, going to continue to happen no matter what. And, and, it's, and it's, it's great for the game. Yeah. It's great for the barbershops. It's great for the game. Um, it's going to continue to happen. Um, I don't know why. I, the one thing I, I don't understand is like, you know, you never hear, you know, the greatest quarterbacks yeah. always talked about. You never hear like, who's the greatest quarterback, you know, you know, Brady or Montana, yeah. you know, you got Montana, or five, you got Brady with six, Yeah. you know, or, or, you know, you, you used to hear the Peyton and Brady thing yeah, yeah. when they played, but you know, Brady started to win a lot more and, and uh, things of that nature, but you never hear like every single conversation, Even baseball, every baseball. single day, it's baseball. like Babe Ruth and then right. people just move on. Right. They just it's move like, on. No, no more arguments. Right. Babe no Ruth more arguments. Baseball player. Right. Exactly. You know, you know, so, you know, and, and, and it, well, other sports, hockey, you hear Wayne Gretzky, that's you know, it. people move on. You haven't heard anything since. No, yeah, yeah. You, you move on. Wayne Gretzky is the greatest. You move on. There's, you know, things of that nature. But, you know, the conversation is going to always be, be had. And, and it's great for debates because they want to compare errors. They want to comp compare players and, and, and who they've seen. The one thing that I know for sure, that I've been a part of two teams that's won the two hardest championships in NBA league history. The 2016 Cavs coming back from 3-1 versus 73-9 and team, being down 3-1 versus one of the best teams that ever been assembled. Two-time MVP. Two-time MVP. Um, and then what we went through in a bubble. And if you were not in a bubble, you don't quite understand it. You would never, <clears throat> ever understand how hard it was to win that championship, to be able to motivate yourself, to be out of – this is literally out of your whole comfort zone. No so, family, no No friend. family. I didn't see my family for eight and a half weeks. And then it was just my wife. Never, I didn't see my kids until I got out of the bubble, um, 96 days. You, everything you're accustomed to, your own bed or, or your chef, 
you know, your sleeping pattern. You know, you're so accustomed to, you know, for me, I'm a routine guy. And when my routine is like knocked off, I, I, it's like, I don't know, it's hard for me to center myself. So I'm with you. I, like I'm literally in a bubble at times, like in my room, literally seeing the walls, like this, like the shining. <laughs> Just blood. Just blood. like blood <laughs> coming down my walls. I go in the hallway. It's like two kids on a tricycle. I'm like, oh, holy sh what is going on? I got to go home. I'm yeah, ready to leave. Don't. You haven't seen The Shining. Uh, we want you to play with us. Yes. For, you got to see ever. The Shining. It's ever. one of the greatest ever horror movies. I'm a horror movie connoisseur, guys. I'm sorry for the people that don't watch horror movies. But it felt like a horror movie yeah. in the bubble. And I just believe that I've been a part of two of the hardest championships in league history. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't care what anyone says about that. You can, come, you can debate who's the greatest of all time individually, things of that nature and what they've done. But as far as the teams, that's one of the two hardest championships in league history I've been a part of that. Yeah. Did this one change you? Respect to answering that question, by the way. Um, yeah. Has it changed me as far as what, me individually or? I think, yeah, I think individually <clears throat> most because I know that's what makes up who you are. And yeah, I mean. Up. It, it, it just uh, it, it centered me once again, which I which I, I love to be centered and also love to be um, re humbled. Not saying I'm not, right. um, yeah. but it gave me an opportunity to just be like, this was an unbelievable achievement for our franchise, an unbelievable achievement for myself, what I was able to do for this team, what this team was able to do for me, and um, and to be able to like, I want more.